it's Wes. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about Canon RP, the EOS RP. How has this camera escaped me for so long? Today I'm going to tell you 15 surprising things I learned about getting my hands on a Canon EOS RP. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, you guessed it. It's the International Box of Mystery. And in here, I have 15 slips of paper. And these have the surprising things about the Canon EOS RP. So in no particular order, here we go. There's a lack of a dedicated focus menu. So if I turn on the camera, pop open the screen and hit menu, I have the shoot menu, but there's no focus menu. And I believe on the EOS R5, and on the R, there's a dedicated focus menu. It's actually combined under when you're in movie mode, when you hit menu, the focus mode is actually tucked in the end of starting with page seven, eight, seven and eight on the shoot menu under photography. So there's no dedicated focus menu page mode on the RP. All right, international box of mystery, <laughs> the size. I feel stupid saying this, but I did not realize, I did not realize this was smaller than the R. I just didn't know. And the second my hand hit that grip, I'm like, oh, this has a smaller form factor. And granted, it may not be a lot, but it definitely is a smaller camera in that I think about it as more portable, smaller, easier to get into. Um, tight spaces and it's barely different. So it's it's interesting that they make different cameras and it proves it is um, By the way, I that is something <laughs> The RF lens does not do on the R or the RF. I've had this 35 just going ch -ch 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 -ch, Focus hunting. I'm not sure about that. That's not one of my points But I definitely noticed the 35 doesn't perform the same on the R or the R5 Okay um, all right, so let's go to the next thing. Lack of a, a dedicated focus menu and size. Here is the international box of magical mayhem. And uh, it has, surprising, it has a bigger HDMI port than the Canon EOS R5. So when you open the HDMI port, and this is important if you're gonna use like the Ninja or something external, or maybe you're gonna uh, try to use it as a webcam, even though I think it uses USB-C and that's probably the route I would go. Um, it is a USB mini the R5, which I'm shooting on. Shame on you, Canon. Why, why, why is it a micro? It's a smaller port and it's not as stable as the, the mini. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. Tell me there's a better reason why the R5 has the micro. I don't know why. But the Canon EOS RP has a bigger uh, HDMI port. It's the U HDMI mini versus micro. This one is huge, huge, and this is something it has in common with the R5. It has focus stacking mode. It has focus stacking mode. Who cares? Actually, somebody uh, asked me on Instagram, what is focus stacking? Because I did a couple of posts recently because I was testing this out. Here's a picture of my dad's harmonica using, using focus stacking mode. And what that does is it, it allows you to set a certain number of exposures or images you want the camera to take in sequence. You hit focus and then it will shift focus slightly so that you're creating a, a in focus point further away from the lens. You can set it to be 10, 3, 12, 99. It'll take all those images at different focal points. You put them into Photoshop, use auto align, then auto blend, and you'll get one image that has a very, very crisp image. Now you could do landscape photography, I guess, like you could do foreground, midground, and background, and you can set it to be kind of a shallow movement or a wider movement. But why do I say this? The EOS R does not have focus stacking mode, and I was kind of bummed about that, but the R5 does have it, so I have that back in my hands, but the RP has focus stacking mode. So, put it up there with the R5 for that feature. All right, here's the next thing. I'm so pumped. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad uh, that this bummed me out. The battery is not the LP E6 or E6N. It's a different little 
battery and I have a little different feeling about it. It feels like the battery I had with my Rebel. It probably is the same. Oh, actually, the SD card slot is on the bottom too. That's probably one of my other points. And so if you have this mounted on a tripod or something like that, it's not as easy to get to as the side door. I don't know why they did that. Um, but yeah, it's a different battery. So just know that. I have 15 points. I think I've done like five. Okay, it only has, in video mode, it only has IPB. There is no all eye video codec. And here is a theme that's gonna emerge. It's, this is not a strong video camera. It's not a video forward camera, I would say. It's Canon's uh, full frame and mirrorless uh, line, but it's not really embracing the video options as strongly as like the R. So just know that if you're looking for a video camera, I, I think along with the other things that I'm gonna say, you'll say, this is not the camera for me. I don't wanna draw any conclusions for you. Do what you like. This camera rocks. I've used it and I love it, but I'm just sharing some things. Uh, there's no touch bar. Yeah, the EOS R, they introduced this touch bar. Here, you don't have it, and probably you didn't want it, so mission accomplished. Uh, there is no C-Log, no C-Log on here, so you're not gonna be able to record in log, so you can forget all your color grading dreams. Don't download DaVinci if you have the RP. All right, there's a D-pad. Why do I say that? There's this little thingy here, left, right, up, down. I don't know if it's that useful. I got used to it, I guess but on the R5 you have a scroll wheel like the 5D, and I think I like the scroll wheel um, better. Command wheel, command dial, rear command dial, I don't know what you call it. Uh, this has more like a D-pad, up, down, left, right. Feels more limited. That's my takeaway, feels more limited. All right, what else, what else? Inter oh, I should show you the international box of mayhem and mystery, and uh, this one is the menu presentation, okay. I'm not sure what I meant by that. The menu presentation. So I'm gonna turn it on. I hit menu. What did I mean by that? I think I meant when you turn this top dial, look at what happens. There is a little bit of a presentation with some illustrations and graphics and some samples. Let me go to, let's say I went to special scene mode you see that special scene mode they want you to be able to see little samples of what you might be able to shoot now more importantly than that i think this signals that canon was viewing this more at a consumer level than a semi-pro this menu uh, reminds me of that the camera is probably tar um that's annoying this camera reminds me that Canon was aiming this at a consumer market primarily. That's my guess. It feels more like a point and shoot. I don't think it's a point and shoot. I don't think that. But it just reminds me that the Canon might have thought that's who might buy this. Hey, I'm going from my snap picks or cool shots and I'm gonna upgrade it to my, my cyber click uh, into an EOS RP. There is no sensor protector. So shame on you, Canon, shame on you. How hard would it have been to put that little cool guard you have on the EOS R right there above the sensor? How cool would that have been? It would have been cool. How cool? So cool. You want that protected and uh, they didn't do it. They didn't take time to do it. So I don't know, it saved them less than a hundredth of an ounce. I don't know why they did that. That's a cool feature, it should be on all cameras if you accidentally, not accidentally, if you open, take off the lens, it should be protected, protect the sensor. Protect the sensor, people. All right, here, let's go. The international box of music. It's, there's no music in here. This one I already covered. I, I wrote menu presentation, I wrote movie mode has colors. It's pretty. Same thing, video mode screen goes away. All right, so this one I truly was confused about. When I have the camera on, I'm gonna, sh uh, I'm gonna put that in manual mode, stop focusing. When you put this into video mode, you get these choices here. Now, if I wait just a few seconds, waiting for it to go away, I'm looking at this screen, maybe I have to click the shutter button, I've chosen it. 
Now my question is how to get that screen back. There is no mode button. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm, I'm as stupid as all get out sometimes. There's no mode button to bring that back. Uh, on the EOS R, it's right here in the middle of this dial. You just hit the mode and it pops back up. I have to literally shift out of that mode and back to it to get those options where it says, choose the mode and you have the ability to change things. So there's no mode button. Once you switch uh, into video mode, you can't, once that screens, you've chosen it, you lose your options. You have to click out and click back in. Please tell me I'm wrong. There's gotta be a way to bring up that screen. If you hit menu, it goes to the menu. I don't know, there's no mode button to bring the mode choices up. Say la vie. All right, international box of mystery. I think I need another word for that. Mystery, mayhem, musicality, uh, monopoly. Ooh. Next one. Card slides on the bottom. We covered that. Last one. That was 14. I had two duplicates. Okay, that was 15. Two duplicates. All right. I don't know what that is. 13 or 14. <laughs> There's no joystick. You didn't want a joystick anyway because you're in the consumer market. Oh, did I say that? Okay, little EOS RP, you're amazing. I love you. It's EOS RP uh, Canon mirrorless camera. It's awesome. It's high quality. The RF lens focuses, focus. The EOS, the, the 35 millimeter lens goes focus, 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 focus. It's not acting the same as on my other uh, R, R cameras. But same ports on the side here. No SD card here. It's on the bottom. And uh, it's just a little more aimed at the consumer market, but it's full frame. It uses RF glass. I wouldn't select it if you're gonna get into, let's say, the heavier end of filming and video, but um, it does it does shoot, uh, I think, 4K 24 frames per second. It has a 1080 at 60. That's 1080p 60 frames per second. It's, it's a great camera, and for the price, well, for the price I bought, <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's right here. For the price I bought the Fuji X-E4. That's what I did. But it's not full frame. I'm just happy. I love you, Fuji. He said as he filmed on his Canon R5, but you're my real. All right, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully this was helpful. I aim this video at you if you're looking at the EOS RP. I mean, maybe that's what you're looking at. Maybe this was helpful. I got the International Flames of Passion burning back here. We got the International Box of Mystery. Hey, if you're watching this video across the sea, across the pond internationally, leave me a comment and tell me where you're watching from. Heck, if you're in the United States, leave me a comment and let me know where you're watching from. If you made it this far, like the video. If you made it this far, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, okay? All right, bye kids.